Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. Derek Ray perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Costa Rica versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And here's the starting 11 for Costa Rica. Well, it looks as though they're going to go with a 5-4-1. But the wing-backs will get forward when they can, and the two wide midfield players will join the striker, which would then make it a 3-4-3. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Timo Werner. And so the battle commences. himself at the ball and played in by Kimmy just had to keep his concentration to the maximum and he did well, Timo Werner, a high-quality striker, whatever way you analyse it. In the context of this game, what do you expect to see from him, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Well, the 2018 World Cup was a bit of a horror show from a German point of view. They didn't fare an awful lot better at the last European Championship, but many believe the time is now for this for players under Hansi Flick. How do you see it? Well, I think they are an interesting side. I've seen them play well and look like world beaters. I've also seen them look a very ordinary team. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. Can they hit on the break? And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. Timo Werner. Just cutting off the supply. Werner. Superbly read and executed.
plenty of support here. Oh, he saved it well. Let's see about the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Serge Gnabry. Oh, a lovely ball. Now he's got to stay calm. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling. And they get the due reward. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and it's a top-class finish from Werner. He just hits it with such power. That's a brilliant goal. Goal. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Kaiser Fuller. Campbell. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Oh, managing to beat him. But stat defending what it mattered. Well, Germany certainly haven't dominated the ball so far, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. And given away. Shielding the ball superbly. Campbell. Getting forward. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Torres could cross it in here moving the ball nicely trying to carve out the equaliser trailing as they are they must make good use of this corner And played short. Juan Pablo Vargas. Campbell on the ball. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Kimmich. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, Timo Werner, a player who can light up any game with his natural pace. Stewart, he's a joy to watch. Well, it's been a really good display for him so far, Derek. He scored the leading goal, he's been energetic, and his movement has caused lots of problems to this back line. Can he keep it going in the second half, though? And the ball is moving again here, with Germany looking to build on what was a positive first-half performance. Werner. A glorious chance. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day.
Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Jewison Benet. Francisco Calvo. And Borges with it. Moving into the advanced position. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Timo Werner. Now can they counter clinically? A good and fair challenge. Plenty of support here. Nicely timed tackle. Benete. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Campbell. Gerson Torres. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Kimmich. And it crossed the touch line, so a throw in here. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Number 16, Marco Reis. Benete. Campbell, just not looking confident in possession. Werner. The ball with Marco Reus. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. But strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Tejeda. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. It might still be problematic. Capable of so much better from that position. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Being pressed and pressed high. Leon Goretzka. Five minutes left. Timo Werner. Kimmich has eyes for goal. Well, it turns out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end. Now possession lost, intercepted. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long.
And all over here, an acceptable outcome from a German point of view. A victory for them. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, he is a player with the capacity to enthrall Timo Werner. Let's get your assessment as regards his performance in this game. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.